Hey guys, I am Faja here. I uh, just found some really neat stuff and wanted to share it with you. I know I've been throwing up a lot of videos lately, but I found some really cool free editing software. I uh, found this over at nchsoftware.com and uh, you can do video stuff here, you can do graphic stuff here, audio and utilities. Uh, right now I'm sticking with the video and I just got through downloading video pad video editor. Now uh, I've had this program here for just a few minutes and just been playing with it and I want to show you some really cool stuff about it hopefully within 10 minutes. So the first thing that really got me going was capture. And as you'll see right here, look at there, there's the Modern Warfare 2 screen from my Xbox. Very simple. You can change this over. You can go to uh, webcam and it'll adjust itself here in just a moment and you should be able to see my big ugly ass and there I am hey how you doing I am Vanja blah 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 well, let's don't look at me let's just go ahead and click this back over here to the dazzle and we're gonna go ahead and hit start and you'll notice that it's uh, it's capturing over here and it should be putting the video right up here in this upper left hand corner which I find really cool very accessible very easy to use so now we're gonna go ahead and hit stop and you can see that the video appeared right there about 14 seconds worth I like it it's very easy to use so I'm gonna go ahead and close this out and now we have captured our video uh, for those of you that have been watching the other uh, sequence of video tutorials I put up if you'll notice that with Windows Movie Maker you cannot capture you have to use a somewhat ca uh, complicated capture program that comes with the uh, uh, dazzle made by Pinnacle okay so now we got our video and if you want to get a clip from uh, your folder you just click on add media you go to your folder uh, let's just bring the high-rise snip clip in here and we're gonna hit that and look at there it's imported as well now you can sit over here the nice thing that I like about this uh, it actually has a large preview window and it actually has what you're gonna be working on over here so we can actually click on uh, this video here and we could hit play down here shows us what we got nothing fancy uh, up here we can go to this and this is a video that we made earlier uh, for one of the shows and uh, there's the video right there now at this point <clears throat> and um, pardon me I'm really excited about this this is some really neat free software uh, check this out so here's your preview winner uh, once you drive your uh, sequence down here let's just uh, pull this one down to here and let's go ahead and pull the snipe down and add it and notice it automatically puts it at the end or you can right click and go add items okay now over here is our well, let's, let's just go to the end here here's your little scrubber bar right here this is your timeline all right uh, notice that we're moving the bar down here and up here is what we're seeing because that's what we're working on um, let's just say for example we wanted to uh, come over here and cut this right here at the beginning all we have to do is go over here to split clip BAM now it's cut so we can take this section off of it remove the selected clip and it's gone we can move our scrubber uh, on over here to the next video and uh, let's say that we wanted to take out the part where my uh, um, Xbox had fallen asleep and we just bring it to right there and we hit split clip again now that is gone so notice it bumped right in there um, pretty neat stuff uh, for cutting a clip now I've also noted that there's an audio track down here actually there's two layers for audio tracks um, some of you if you're gonna hear this in the background I'm gonna click on this uh, uh, one right here and I'm gonna hit play actually let me bring my scrubber back over here click on this and hit play and listen you can probably hear the game sound in the background that's coming out of the speakers of my laptop and it's being picked up by my external mic but check this out you cannot dampen you cannot lessen that volume here but you can actually grab the volume right click on it and go unlink sound clips now the sound from the video has been moved down to here now the interesting thing about this is you will have to do this for each clip uh, we're just going to bring this over here we're going to take this one, we're going to right click it, unlink sound, it's going to move down to the bottom. This is our little focus in, zoom in type button down here. Our scrubber line, we're just going to hit play here. 
I'm going to run it on over to the end of the clip. It's there. And now we're just going to hit play. It's going to start back over. But here's the interesting thing. Now that we have unlinked our volume, we can actually right click on the volume and we can go to adjust volume clip. So we can go ahead and mute the gain volume down. Click OK. Now notice when I hit this, you don't hear anything. It's not there. Now I'm going to move the scrubber up here. Notice right up here that I have not, uh, let me pause it, I have not silenced the volume for the next clip. Well, you're not going to hear anything because there might not be anything there, but let's listen. Yeah, there's nothing really to listen to, but we can come over here and adjust volume for your game volumes and move it down. And then, by God, we can come up here to narrative. Check it out. We can hit this. And we can hit record and go, hey, how you doing, sports fans? Everybody doing good out there? We can hit stop. And now notice this next line right down here. This is the narrative that I just put over the video. Bring it back a little bit, hit play, and listen. Record. And go, hey, how you doing, sports fans? Everybody doing good out there? We can hit stop. Okay, very easy to put a narrative on. At any time that you're ready to preview your entire project, you can come right up here to preview. You can see your project. Let's move it over a little bit. Barely hear the audible tone in the background. Barely hear it. All right, so we're going to X out of that because we're running out of time here. Um, create movie. You can go over here to your create movie. You can make a DVD for home or you can make a data disk. I would uh, suggest that you go to computer. And as you can see right here, it's wanting to use users, I am Faja, videos, and the name of the movie. Okay, again, uh, your movie is probably going to be whatever you want to call it. Uh, let's just try this. Let's try uh, playing with new software. Okay. Uh, we're going to let it go right there. We're going to choose our presets. This is important. Traditional TV or widescreen, depending on how you record. If you record in, what is it, uh, 4, semicolon 3, you're going to need to go with traditional TV. But if you're recording in 16, semicolon 9, then you can, you can go with the widescreen. Let's just go with the widescreen here. And we can choose our file format. This is great. Oh, my God. Just remember, AVI is a large file it takes up space remember YouTube has a limit of two gigs uh, or ten minutes and the bigger your file the uh, longer it's going to take to upload I'm just going to go with uh, Windows Movie Maker I'm going to set the uh, resolution at uh, hmm, eh, let's leave it at 1024 by 576 uh, standard uh, frame rate, we're not going to go into that. That's very complicated. I don't want to talk about it at this point. And we're going to click OK. And we're going to see that our video over here is making. We're going to give that just a second or so for uh, that to happen. Alright, it has been successfully created. We're running out of time, but the only other thing I did want to tell you about is there's very limited on transitions over here. You can have a fade or a crossfade or fade through white. That for the free is what you're limited to. But you could get creative with this and create uh, Windows Movie Maker files to be imported into your Windows Movie Maker and then put fancy transitions on them from there. Sometimes you can use two free softwares to get what you need. All right, let's real quickly, let's go down here and take a look at our videos. Uh, where's my video folder that we just created? Right there it is, playing with the new software. And there's the movie we just made. All right, okay, guys, I appreciate it. I hope you like this software. I'm going to go ahead and delete it off uh, my computer. Well, hell, I might keep it for a couple more days just in case uh, some of you guys have any questions about it. I'll look into it for you. But for a free software, free to download, this stuff right here, Video Pad Editor, does a great job for free stuff. All right, you guys, be safe. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.